A dangerous, invasive plant is putting a local waterway entire ecosystem at risk. This plant is called Hydrilla, and it's been spotted now in the Erie Canal. Investigators this week are going to comb this portion of the canal in North Tonawanda for any more signs of the plant. Channel 7's Ed Riley is there tonight with the story. Hydrilla plants are not native to this country, but they are here and they're causing a big problem. And now they've been found in western New York. Hydrilla can grow so fast that it can quickly overtake a waterway. This is a picture from Florida, and no, this is not a yard. This is a river completely overgrown with hydrilla. It grows in very dense mats, and these mats can be so thick they can actually block out the sunlight. The lack of sunlight kills fish and other plants. It also affects humans. Swimming, fishing, and boating can be completely ruined by hydrilla. You can't get a boat through it. You wouldn't be able to put a kayak paddle through it. Now it could be a problem here in western New York as well. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service recently discovered hydrilla plants growing in Tonawanda Creek. It's almost impossible to stop, but uh, we should certainly try and limit. How did it get here? Surprisingly, many people buy it for aquariums, but it quickly outgrows them. Rather than throwing it in the trash, where it's not going to do any damage, they throw it out into nearby water bodies. Hydrilla has shown up in the Finger Lakes, too, and officials believe it may have been transported here after becoming stuck on someone's boat. They grow by fragments. Uh, you don't need to plant seeds with them. And so if a fragment was stuck on its, you know, the, the boat trailer or the boat itself, you know, that's one way it could have been introduced. Now U.S. and Canadian agencies are mounting a rapid response. Teams of researchers will be heading out this week to find out how widespread the problem is. Because it might have already spread out enough in, in a large system like the Niagara River uh, that we might not be able to do anything to control it. And that, that would be unfortunate. Ed Riley, Channel 7, Eyewitness News.